So, like we told you before, we're out to show our people what God requires of them. You understand? What God requires of us and why are we punished today as a people. So, as we were talking about um, pr previously, we are suffering because we break the commandments of the Lord. Now, I briefly talked about the Sabbath day. So, I'm going to show you other ways you must keep the Sabbath. So, let's get the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Nehemiah, chapter 10, and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where or any vessels on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So you see that the Bible says on a Sabbath day, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, we're not supposed to be buying or selling. But what do you see again? All the shops are open on a Sabbath day. These nations are plotting against us. You understand? They put things in place for us to sin. Do you know what sin is? Yeah, I do. What is sin? Sin is um, disobeying the Lord. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's get the definition out of the Bible because the Bible defines itself. Okay? John chapter 3 and verse 4. And four. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Okay, see that first John chapter 3 verse 4 shows us what sin is to break God's laws. Now get me Romans 6 and verse 23. Because there's a punishment for sin. Okay, let's find out what it is. So we get Romans 6 and 23 to show you what is the outcome of our sins. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see that? We're only going to be rewarded with eternal life once we stop sinning. If we stay in our sin, it's going to be death. And we're seeing that right now with the black on black crime. Basic commandments such as thou shalt not kill. When that is broken, the outcome of it is death. Brothers dying, sisters dying. Okay? Question, brother, yeah. How do I know that the white men, I'm not saying it, they've set you guys up. How do we know that the white man hasn't set you guys up to try to, to get within the black community? Because... Bib a lot of this biblical, we never had it in Africa till the white man and the, the missionaries came to Africa. How do we know that you guys are not part of the white establishment to try to infiltrate on black people, as in trying to get them to worship their God, their white, blonde, their blue-eyed God? Okay, you mentioned a few things there. So you want to basically, you want the proof that what we're saying is the truth essentially okay so i have a question for you can man tell the future thousands of years ahead of time in great detail no. they, sh they shouldn't be able to know okay. yeah. so i'm going to show you a prophecy in the bible which came became history that man could not predict okay let's get the book of deuteronomy 28 let's start with verse 15 all right we're going to show you the we're going to prove to you this day that the bible is the true book and the way that we're bringing it out the facts that we're showing you, this is the true understanding that you will never learn in the Christian church, okay? Because you have the religion called Christianity. Now, the white man came with that, but we're coming with something different. I want you to understand that. Remember that. The book of Deuteronomy 20, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites in the wilderness, if you don't listen to what God commands you, you're going to be cursed. You're going to be punishment. You're going to be punished. Okay? Give me verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon on thee for a sign. These curses, these punishments, will be upon the Israelites for a sign. What does a sign do? When you look at that KFC sign, you know it's a KFC. When you see a yellow M, you know it's a McDonald's. A sign identifies what something is. Read on. And for a wonder, because thou... Up, it's just not yet. And Read it from the wonder. top. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So upon thy seed, thy descendants forever. So from that time to this very moment, the same punishments and curses will be upon the true children of Israel to show them who they are, to identify them. Get me verse 68 now. 
So we're going to show you your history was foretold and prophesied in the Bible to great detail. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You see that? The word Egypt means slavery. Because remember, Israel just came out of Egypt on slave, um, as being slaves. You understand? So what it's showing us in the future, the Israelites will go on slavery again in another land. But how? On ships. How did your four parents get to their, their um, destinations of slavery? By what mode of transport? Ships. Ships. So this is prophecy that became history. So now we know that the Bible is a true book. Okay? Give me verse 48. I'm going to show you something else. One second, one second. Verse what? 48. It's not just historical. It's not just historical things. It's things happening right now as well. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So anything you want in this society, food, water, clothing, education, a place to live, a driver's license, you name it. You have to go to another nation outside of your own. The Lord calls them your enemies. Okay, read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So the same nations we're serving for all these things are the ones that put us in slavery. Okay, who put us in slavery in England? The so-called European man. Who do we pay our water bill to, buy our food from, get our clothing from, education from? The same European man. Okay, read on. Until he have destroyed thee. So the chains and the yokes only came off once we were destroyed in our minds. Okay, now what, one thing that he did is give us religion. Okay, that was one way he destroyed our mind. Verse 64. What? Verse 64, and the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all people. So we was in America, the Caribbean, South America, Asia, Africa, Europe. Read. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thy father, the mic blocking me, have known. Even wood and stone. See that we were given false religions, and it said wood and stone. These are your two major religions today. Christianity represents the cross, the wood, okay, and Islam is the stone, the Kaaba stone. So we're showing you Christianity was actually a curse put upon our people. So God used the white man to give us that because we broke his commandments. You understand? That's, his book. That's the his book. That's the Christianity book that you're reading. This is not the book of Christianity. This is the book of our records, our history. You understand? The Bible. But does it not link to the Christianity? The Christians have the wrong rendition. They give you the wrong understanding of the Bible. You understand? This is the King James Version of the Bible. You understand? But one thing you said earlier is that the Christianity that we, hit, we have today is a, it worships like a white um, image of Christ. Right, we give them the white image of Christ and a doctrine comes behind it. But the Bible never says that Christ was a white man. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. The, basically what our slave master has done, what our oppressors have done, is cherry pick certain verses and take them out of context. And we run with that and now that's what you have called Christianity. You understand? King James was probably a racist as well. King James was a black man, did you know that? King James was a black man that ruled England and Scotland. But they will never tell you that. You understand? They're hiding facts from us. We're out here to show you the truth according to the Bible. That he was a black man. I'm going to show you first that Jesus Christ is a black man. All right? Let's get that. Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Because any Christian church you go through, you go into, you're going to see a white image of Christ. That's not biblical. Read that for me. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means to reveal. Okay, so Christ is going to be revealed now according to the scriptures. Read on verse 14. Which God, sorry, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had white hair, but it was woolly in texture. What people on the earth today have woolly textured hair like a sheep? Um, Afros and black people. Black people. So that's the first clue that Christ is a black man. Let's read more. As white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine in moderation and the whites of his eyes turned a slight hint of red read 
and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. Now brass is already brown. Okay, read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So if your feet are burnt in a furnace, what color are they? Um, dark. And um, furnace is in um, um, fire. So furnace is like an oven, or um, brown. So if you if you burn anything, if you even burn white rice, what color does it come out? Brown and um, black charcoal. Black charcoal, exactly. So if Christ's feet was black, his legs were black, his arms were black, his face must have been black. He was a black man. You understand? Let's get more. Let's get Jeremiah chapter fourteen and verse two. Because Christ was from the tribe of Judah. When you read the scripture, he's called the Lion of Judah. So what color were the people of the tribe of Judah? We're going to show you in the Bible. These are the things that the Christian pastor will never, ever show you. You understand? So the Bible is our book, but it's just certain things are not revealed to us. But we're out here to show you the truth. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourned, and the gates thereof language. Judah is in mourning. Okay, just like we're mourning today because of our oppression. Read. They are black onto the ground. They are what color? They are black onto the ground. According to the Bible, the Jews are what color? Black onto the ground. You see that? So those people in Israel today, they are claiming our identity. You understand? The true Jews, according to the Bible, Christ's people were black people. You understand? Sorry, I just want to say something. The Bible is very open anyone can interpret anything how they wish to you can interpret it anything it's not an open book and that's the that's the funny part of it anyone could justify anything within the bible to do whatever they want that's yeah i understand what you're saying so you want to know how do you know you have the right interpretation of the bible okay let's get isaiah 28 and verse 9 okay we're going to show you now, just, just notice before I get this. Everything that we've been saying, we've been getting a scripture to back it up. You understand? Verse 9. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? So who's he going to give the, the true understanding of the Bible to? To give them the right doctrine. Read on. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. So what it's showing is that you must cross-reference the Bible. A bit here, a bit there, line upon line, Old Testament, New Testament. Okay, and that's what we've been doing. We're not showing you just one thing in the Bible and running with it. For example, we showed you that Christ was a black man in the book of Revelation. Then we went to the Old Testament to show you that the Jews were black. There's many more scriptures in the Bible that prove these things. Therefore, we are the ones with the true understanding of the Bible. You understand? Thank you, brother. Yeah, I, it, it's, this is, it's really tricky. The, but it, it's because I've got a lot of questions to ask. What, it's, just, it's just because it's getting cold. I need to go now. But I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not saying that I agree with everything, but I agree with a lot of what you're saying. Now, I like the fact that you said that you have questions, okay? So you can definitely contact us on the flyer, get in contact and come together and gather. The Bible says to gather ourselves together because you're only going to get your questions answered by people that have studied and have a bit more experience than yourself. So we can't do it alone. But the thing is, when you're alone, your mind plays tricks on you. All, all details are all on that flyer. You understand? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Oh,